Good evening and welcome to Capital Online TV News. My name is Anita Nderu and these are the stories making headlines. Vote counting got underway at 5 p.m. on Monday in Malindi and Kericho by elections, which were marred by voter bribery allegations. But despite the accusations traded by politicians, voters interviewed by Capital Newsbeat say they are confident IBC will ensure fairness in the final outcome, even though some are complaining of being locked out of the tallying center in Kericho. Jubilee Alliance Party's Aaron Cheriot and Kanus Kipkarir Arab Sang are seen as frontrunners in the contest that has been described as a supremacy battle between Deputy President William Ruto and Baringo Senator Gideon Moy of Kano. In Malindi, Philip Sharo of Jubilee Alliance Party is battling it out with William Tengo of the Orange Democratic Movement Party to replace Dan Kazungu, who was appointed Mining Cabinet Secretary. Monday's by-elections were marked by massive allegations of water bribery by the opposing sides, both in Malindi and Kericho. In one incident, police were forced to shoot in the air to disperse a group of youths who had attacked Klamu East MP Sharif Athman, who was accused of buying voters. Moya MP Peter Gitao was also rescued from a mob mainly comprising of ODM supporters who had accused him of bribing voters before he lodged the complaint at the Khalifi police station. Also ejected from a polling station in Malindi is Kabeta MP Ferdinand Waititu who faced similar accusations as well as forcing himself into a voting centre. ODM Director of Communications Philippe Tale, who was arrested over election malpractice in Malindi, has been freed on a cash bail of 30,000 shillings. ODM Secretary General Ababu Namwamba says Itali was released after his lawyers successfully challenged the prosecution's request to have him detained for three days to enable police complete investigations. Itali was arrested on Sunday night over allegations of being in possession of election material, as explained by Malindi police boss Matawa Mushangi. Away from the by-elections, four terror suspects arrested at the Busia border while headed to Libya to join ISIS will remain in custody for 30 days to facilitate investigations. Police were granted the 30-day period to continue detaining them after they moved to the High Court in Mombasa, where they were arraigned this morning. According to police spokesman George Kinoti, the suspects with pending court cases were to access Libya through San Sudan after one of them disclosed that they were going to Juba. Lastly, the government has now declared that the much-publicized Project X party will not proceed because it goes against the society's moral fabric. The Kenya Film Classification Board CEO Ezekiel Mutua says they will not allow the party to be held because its main objective was to promote drug abuse and other immoral activities among the youth. Mutua also notes that they have received reports of such parties taking place within residences of affluent members of society and are currently investigating the prevalence of such activities in other towns. The board now wants to have a specialized team of police officers attached to it to help enforce the law. For the latest on these and other stories, do follow us on our YouTube channel, Capital FM Kenya. My name is Anita Nderu.